Hello everybody and welcome to the Outer Worlds. Um, a lot of people have been playing this game. A lot of people have been waiting for this game to come out and that's probably why they're playing it. And um, yeah, I saw it and I thought, yeah, you know what? Since it's Obsidian and I've played a fair few Obsidian games or you know, by the guys who are the current Obsidian crew, I'd give it a bash. Um, but um, I've deliberately isolated myself as much as possible from everybody else so that I get no spoilers, so I've got no idea what's going to happen. Um, and I'm going to try and do this blind and hopefully on a fairly hard difficulty, which means I'm probably going to get murdered. Um, still, let's go with a new game. Um, supernova difficulty, let's have a look at that. Highest difficulty and can only be selected at the start of the game as recommended for advanced players. Um, supernova mode as additional challenges to the game. If you reduce the difficulty below supernova, you cannot re-enable it. Enemies have more health and do more damage. You must eat, drink and sleep to survive. Companions can die permanently. Crippled body limbs and conditions going to be healed with bed rest. Weapons and armor work very poorly at zero durability. You can only fast travel to your ship. You can only sleep inside your ship. You can only manually save one inside your ship and auto saves are limited. Well, that sounds a lot like survival mode. We're going to do that. Um, yes, so we've got all that switched on. That's good. I'll see on. Why say Earthbound when I didn't get a chance to finish that? Yeah, why say Earthbound when prosperity awaits in the stars? of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Right, um, so, creating a character, let's have a look. What have we got? Attributes. Um, body, mind, and personality. Okay. Um... Let's um, charm up a little bit, yeah. Um, temperament improves your natural health regeneration. Okay. Um, effective skills is heal sneak. Oh, all right, all right. So, do health regen. All right, let's go. Uh, a high. I've got a high temperament. Um. Handguns, strength, one-handed melee, heavy weapons, block, inspiration, intimidate. Um, Muscular atrophy is practically a hobby in this colony. Yeah, there we are below average there. Um, dexterity. Yeah, let's put dexterity up a bit. Um, Insurgents up by two. Um and yeah, perception up by once. There you are. So I'm, I'm below average strength, but everything else I'm good or high. It's not bad. It's fairly average, really, to be honest with you. 
Uh, right, two skills. What can uh, what have we got down here? So, one-handed melee, two-handed melee, hand guns, long guns. Long gun skill, decrease weapon sway while firing rifles and other guns. Okay, so uh, like pistols, rifles, and heavy weapons. Dodge and block, persuade, lie, intimidate, sneak, hack, lockpick, medical science, engineering. Inspiration and determination. Um, okay, so they all seem fair. Well, the ones up here seem fairly uh, uh, fairly self-explanatory. Leadership, food companion, health, and the ability to combat. Each point in the leadership significantly increases inspiration and determination skills up to fifty points each. After fifty, you can specialize bad points directly to inspiration and determination. Okay, well let's go. Um, let's go with dialogue. If we're ever captured. I'll let you do the talking. Here we are. So, uh, persuade, line, intimidate slightly better. And. Tech, medical, science, we've got. Heal map for items and inhalers. Heal map for. Uh, increases damage of plasma and shock weapons. Special effects of science weapons. Higher science. Tinker. Uh, reduces skill reduces the armor parts and weapon parts needed for preparing. Ah, that's going to be useful if I'm on supernova difficulty. Ah, uh, a fellow tinkerer. There we go. Um, aptitude. Um, no discernible aptitude. Colonists sound like a nice interval career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity is reached by civilizing the cosmic frontier. It was ambitious enough. Without worrying about your day job, you had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful to Halcyon. A beverage service technician, bureaucrat, cashier, construction, electrician, wire spooler, elevator operations specialist. <laughs> elevator operations, that just you stand inside it. Probably if it goes up and down. The only thing otherwise isn't fit to wear the badge. Being a specialist means something, I mean something where you come from. Commitment to upward and downward mobility that doesn't have a price tag. Mm hmm. Factory worker, dirt farmer, food additive taster. <laughs> Janitor, Tospel team mascot, medical technician, junior grade safety inspector, uh, scientist assistant, level zero, class A, sub sous chef. So, so that gives you slightly better. So this is basically it's all slightly better stuff. Okay. Um, bureaucrat gives me put blossom to dock. Okay. Beverage, termination, suede, cashier. Well, that gives you slightly better persuasion. Um, corrosion damage received minus three. <laughs> yeah. Um. Scientist, medical technician. Um, scientist assistant, level zero, class A. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get in business to mop the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee the, what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colourful nightmares. Yeah. That well, sounds. You are technically assisting me. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Right. Um, I quite often create female characters. Um, ah, there's not really a lot in it, is there? <laughs> um, go with a male one this time. Um, no, let's stick with what I know. Female characters, okay. Uh, face. Let's have a. Well, I'm gonna fiddle through this and see what I can do.
Right, there we are. I, I think I've made her now. So, uh, got nice, uh, nice purple dyed hair. Um, possibly augmented eyes or something like that. She, or, or she's blind, I'm not quite sure. And an unfortunate medical incident resulted in her throat getting cut. Um, and is it looks that looks a very deep cut, if you ask me. That's a very, very deep cut. But she barely survived, and that's why she never went up in the world as a medical assistant. Um, which is fine. So let's go next. What's your name? Um, well, in good old tradition, this is gonna be this is gonna be Tina. Uh, it is yeah. Space's choice is dying to meet you. Yep, that's uh, that's good. So there we are. This is Tina. Um, she's not very strong. She's not bad. Dexterous. She's fairly smart and and fairly temperate. Um, she unfortunately had an accident which revolved, involved her uh, her throat getting cut whilst uh, cleaning out test tubes. But you can't have everything. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Uh. Something wrong? Uh. Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay. I see. Okay, then. Remember the hope. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass for lost brothers and sisters. Ah, 60th anniversary of the Hope's experience. He's still here. He's just... Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Yes. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. A smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. Okay. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. All right. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Well, that feels like re-entry, so, uh... Ah, you've landed good! 
Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Ah. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Uh. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Okay, so where's his ship then? Um, is that it? Oh no, okay, it just says move down here. Alright, fair enough. Uh, that's a piece of tree. Some plants, okay. Oh yeah. Hello? Hello, friend? Friend! Oh, okay, you go on, fine. Alright, left control to crouch. Right, so it's fairly standard ish controls. Friend! Friend, friend, funny thingy! Uh, okay, alright. Um, it wants me to sprint, maybe to get away from something, or. It's like, oh no, it's a sprint, okay, well. Cover distance a little bit faster, fair enough. Ah, didn't see that fellow. He appears dead, which is good. Uh, yes, he is. He is very dead indeed. He um. He he appears to be missing his legs. Something has come along and, and eaten them. Um. I'll uh. I'll take you. I'll take your drugs. Because that's what you do in these sorts of games. Um, nothing to do on that fire. All right, so I'm not supposed to move down here. While sneaking, use tall grass or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them and initiate combat. Is there an enemy around here? Ah, timid canids. Okay. Uh, so, dogs. Learn as meters over an enemy head, so if they're unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Uh, I guess it's unaware? Um. Does, does alt do slow? No, it doesn't. Alright, so that was briefly noticed. Alright, let's see me. Aha! Don't get me now. Right, um Let's have a look. What else we got down here? Just uh Rock promotions, and other little green fellows. Okay. Can I pick this up and carry it with me? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. That's just a piece of rock. Mm, okay, it looks like a long drop. Hey! Yes, okay. Use emergency medical inhaler to heal. Uh, one adreno, okay. Heal! Right. So obviously I've got a little bit of natural regen, but F to heal. Okay, I'll try and remember that, although there's a fair bet that I won't remember. Uh, there's someone. Um, hello? God Pelham? Um, I... I need to do stuff over there. You, come here. Hi. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, well, that stinks. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, me, uh, sit still. I'll, I'll patch you up, sir. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Oh, do they, do they not? Okay. Um, Spacer's... What? Who, who is Spacer's Choice? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just yeah. barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Okay, um... What's, uh, what's all this about marauders, then? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some ah. hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, um... Give me a gun, I'll go get help. Someone grounded their ship illegally, I'll hunt them down. Oh, <laughs> give me a gun before you get yourself killed. Um... Right, okay, so this is all basically getting his gun off him. Um, uh, if you give me your gun, I'll go and get help for you. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Yeah. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. That's right. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Oh, thank you very much. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Cool. Um... Do you... Yeah, uh... Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Uh, no, it's a, it's a spaceship, but I can't tell. Okay, um, can you tell me where I am then? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. I will do that. Um, all right, I'll uh, I'll see what I can do to get help for you, friend. And that to attack. Okay. Um, you've got some supplies in here. That's good. You've even got yourself a couple of stools and some pans. Space of choice, good stuff. Um, you've got some power and. Uh, some pre-sliced bread. Well, this is your this is all your stuff. I could, I mean, I could take all this, but this is all this is all your stuff. So um, I'm going to leave you with it because I don't want to take your things. And um, let's uh, make our way out of here. Uh, no, I can't hear you. Hello! Oh, adorable little things. Oh, oh Gordon Bennett has my head going again. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes this time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button allows, uh, slows down the world in time think as well as take an action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacking drains faster. TTD meter refreshes slowly after time. Tactical OK, so that's Q. Well, he doesn't sound friendly. Ah, let me, uh, I'm sorry, get out of the way, greeny things, leave the area. Attack! Attack! Oh, okay, uh, 
In the face. In the face. In the face. Ooh, right, okay. Um Ah, uh, double click the jump button to dodge. Okay, that's interesting. Um, what did you have on you? You had a sentry saber, okay. I'll take that. And you down here, the fellow I blew up. Uh, you have what? Corpse contains hold items that you can take. Take them all, mask away, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, I was kind of looking at this guy a moment ago, and it I guess it took everything? I don't know. Um, hacking. Oh, okay. So this is a locked thing. Right. Hacking lock picking help you get places not meant to be. Mag picks used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If it feels high enough to break security. We'll see how many mags, picks, or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising with skill will lower the number of items used and speed up process. Okay. Um. All right, so I haven't got any of the uh, the bits required because I left them with uh, the fellow. Uh, mag pick. Let's have that. Uh, some booze. Um, tarmac and cheese. Interesting. So uh, it would be mac and cheese, but it's not quite, not quite mac and cheese. All right. Uh, pre-sliced bread. Yeah, you're not gonna need that. Fast ration pill. Yeah. Okay. Fish sticks, yeah, I'll have some fish sticks. Anything behind? No. Alright. Mag pick. Uh a bunch of nanas. A, a pretend apple. And yeah, I still haven't got enough because I didn't take any from the uh, the guy. That's alright, let's carry on then. I'm going back, I'm not going back and robbing him. Um so the spaceship I need to get to is down here somewhere. Oh, he doesn't look friendly. He's a marauder. Okay. There's another marauder there. Can I use these rocks? I can. Okay. Let's see. So we've got a fellow there and a fellow here. Uh... Dang it. Right, that's that marauder down. There's one back here who's aware. And one over there. Coming forward. Dang it. Now, stop it, you over there. Right, one more down. Yeah, I can. I've got a lot of bullets, haven't I? I've got plenty of ammo in, in these clips. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, you're in there somewhere. There you are. God, I'm not very good, am I? <laughs> I'm not a good shot. There we go. Interesting the way all this kind of blurs when you get through it. I suppose to let you help see your way through, but let's see what we've got. A bit cartridge. Cartridge storing an amount of bits uses currency. Okay. Like ammo, average grade ballistic ammo used in most handguns, and a sentry saber. Okay. Uh, did I press the right button? No, I pressed R. Okay. There we are. Now, the other two are around here. What have you got? Ammo, money, skin tough salve, and rebuilt mining gear. Okay. And you've got a light pistol. 
Got a new weapon. Weapon switch button allows you to rotate between weapons you equipped on the inventory screen. Okay. Uh, is that tab? Do you know weapon safety management? Yay! Weapon management. Got four weapons equipped at a time. Dragging them to stops on the screen. Uh, Special weapons. Compare them. Flag as junk. Break them up for parts. Players with engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. So I've got a light pistol from Space's Choice, and I've got another light pistol from Space's Choice. And they are both the same. Okay. Um, a Space's Sabre, though. I'll equip a sword. Um, can I go back to the guy now? See if I can go back to him up here and just give him his uh, give him his gun back. So I don't need his gun. I don't need his gun now. Got a lot of stamina on me, haven't I? Hey, hey, friendo. Um, do you want your gun back? Thanks for patching me up. No problem. Um. Okay, I can't give you your gun back. Sorry. Apparently, I need to keep your gun. Even though I don't need it anymore. Alright, uh, so back down here then. It does look very nice, doesn't it, all this? With the interesting looking alien fauna everywhere. Um, I can see my statuses up in the corner. The thing here doesn't look like it. No. Um, so I'm starting to get a little bit thirsty. Fair enough. Hungry and fine. Sleep on fine. And that's... Oh, I saw a guy. Uh, let's get my gun out again. Private Kimball. Oh, you're, uh... Right, let's, uh, stick the weapon away then. Lieutenant Mercer and Private Kimball. Uh, excuse me! You are, uh, you're not raiders. Hello! Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts. Yes, yeah, so I've killed about five of them. Violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so I heard. I found one of your uh, teammates holed up in a cave. Um, back up in there. Really? How is he? Alive. Um, <laughs> still a moron. Um, he'll make it. I helped him out with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Okay, okay. Um... Don't worry, you sit tight and leave it to me. God. Um... The Spaces Choice guys back down from a challenge. Um, I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Um, look, I'm looking at this mean. Yeah, I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. You think? Most marauders can't even talk. The criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off. Find whoever owns that ship and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Sweet. Here we go. Oh, how's that? Is that Kendall there who just got Okay, um uh... I, I guess Kendall wasn't very good. Okay. Is 
Sorry, sorry, Mercer. Um. Yeah. Uh. I. I. Sorry. I thought you would be a bit tougher than that. Oh. Oh my. Um. <laughs> yeah. non discriminate ring. Small metal ring was most likely designed for uh, use on a finger, but big toed customers can find alternative places to wear it. <laughs> All right. Um. Terribly sorry, I thought you'd actually be a bit tougher than that, rather than just going down like you did. Um, Private Kimball over here, some heavy ammo. Um, yeah, sorry. I did kind of try and back you up. I did, I did shoot the guy over here, finished him off with a headshot for you, wherever he is. Uh, this one, I think. Sentry Sabre on there. And a Feral Keenid. Okay, um, well, uh, I, uh, I, I guess I'll, uh, I'll just board the ship then, um. Pass over to locations you have on it by Please opening the that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay, nice to know. Um. So what we've we got here, we've got cargo Intruders bay. Are not authorized to access the unreliable amenities, including the cargo holds workbench. Okay. Uh, where's the bridge? Is this the bridge? Uh, so it's a lot like. Authorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Uh. I don't want to. Marauder, I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Ah, well, good show, because I'm not actually Marauder. Um, I'm not here to misappropriate anything, I'll have you know. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, You're on a planet. Three, two, one. Um, now we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Okay, um, is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Well, we're in a bit of a state then, because he's dead. Um, so sorry to say, but he's a little bit dead. Um. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, yes. Okay, um... You need to use Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Yes, I, I understand. Yeah, I am Hawthorne. I'm, I'm not going to say, yeah, but I'm not, because he's dead. Because you're just going, but I can only accept orders from Hawthorne. Uh, all right. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Yeah. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay. Um, I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting around in the garage. Astutely observed. However. The probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Um, Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. 
Um, yes, I, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I will. Spacer's choice, plain and pure water. Uh, you're thirsty, you need to drink. In supernova difficulty, you must drink every few hours to prevent dehydration. Consuming a non-alcoholic drink will clear your thirst and prevent dehydration for a few hours. Without drinking, dehydration will get worse over time in four stages, reducing dex, perception, and intelligence each stage before eventually dying. Okay. Um, I've been promoted. Yeah! Congratulations, you've gained enough XP to level up. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills. Leveling up and, and you'll be upper management material in no time. Cool. Alright. Um, Auntie Cleo management training. Okay, it's gonna move. Every time you level up, you can earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all the specialized skills in that group to a maximum of 50. Of 50, you can add points directly to a specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. We need skill and they are. Armor consumables will take effects and temporarily raise and lower your skills. It helps. Skill checks. Skills passive bonuses. Uh, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Okay. So, so far, so normal, I guess. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so I've got Thirst is knocking me down quite a bit there. Um, I've got 10 available points. Okay, so... Can I just stick them down in the, in the dialogue? Um, dialogues. I mean, I'm not, okay. I put, I put them in ranged there. Okay, so oh nine eight seven. Yeah, let's put dialogue there. So they've gone up, and uh, two into stealth, and uh, one into tech. Will do. Um, so, what do I get? Swayed. Humans have a twenty percent chance of carrying fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. Okay. Fifteen chance. Auto mechanicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you for ten seconds. And ten percent chance creatures become terrified and flee for ten seconds after you kill one. Right, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go with that. Uh yep, that's cool. The unlock com uh dollar combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they'll automatically debilitate. Alright, oh, okay. So com so that's for when I'm punching stuff. Fair enough. Um I'll go back in there. Uh, selecting perks, yeah, okay, I'm fairly sure I know what perks are all about. Uh, going healthier. Tactical dilation. 25% damage when alone. Um, well, I'm alone at the moment, so that would be a good one to take straight away. Faster walk, faster sprint. 25% weapon armor durability loss, and crit chance, lower vendor prices, okay, okay, increase companion, yeah. not the ability to fast or encumbered, I don't need to worry about that, 50% uh, time dilation, extra carrying capacity, extra stock on vendors, Okay. Base armor rating, which adds to any armor you wear. Now, I'm not sure if 5 base armor rating is actually going to be good. If it's, um, if it kind of just reduce all damage by 5 coming my way. Or if it's 5, like 5%. Five um... 5% damage or 5 armor. Uh, I 
Let's, uh... Well, that's when I'm alone, and that's all the time. Yeah, let's take that. Let's take that as all the time. Yes, I do accept. And back again, and back in. Uh, inventory I want. Is it? Uh, no, that's a ring. Captain's ID. Okay. General stuff. Consumables. Okay. Uh, screen is it screen? Uh, Right, um, I need water. What have we got? Pet pills. Uh, can we cool down? Zero G brew. Uh, okay, no. Carbohydrates, but, uh, Okay, um, I don't have any, um, any water. Ration pill. So that's, so, so that's food, that's food, food, food. Um, that's drugs, drugs, food, food, drink. Um, okay. And uh, equip it. Okay, all right. Um, guess that's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to have to drink this then. Uh, two. No, how did I? Okay, so I've got it selected. Is, are you sure there's no... If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. I'm actually looking for some water. Have you got any water lying around in here? Uh, there's a bed. Anything upstairs? I was rather hoping that I'd be able to go to and just have a drink. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay, that's fine. Uh, These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone. But he always had me. Okay then. An empty bottle. There's a. Looks like a camera, really, to me. Um. A game of something and some cards. Uh, what have we got here? Algae lager. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Um, how do I... Is there... Is there... Gourmet salt tuna fillets? No, I don't want food. I want... No, uh, I want water. But I don't think you've got any. Uh a way down sealed that's uh, a leakage okay uh bay up here all right then um guess i've got to go to the spacers place then and uh, see if they've got any uh, any food or drink i can pick up bah Ernest, who are you? I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. 
Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Marauders, sir. Um... <laughs> the guards accidentally brutally shot themselves while on patrol. <laughs> uh, the guards and the locals had a bit of an altercation. Hmm. Altercation, you say? Shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Um, fair enough. Um, I can't this ship way around now. Then you get a diet. I could use the gear. No sense in letting good suit of armor go to waste. Uh, no can do, friend. That armor is Spacer's Choice property. Bodies, too. Living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. Oh, okay, okay. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. I will do so. Um, I'll be on my way. So... That way. Okay, well, let's um, head on out then and, and hope that I don't die of dehydration on the way. Um, nice ship flying in over there. Cool. I'm guessing that's the settlement. Um, could... Did I go overground? Rather than the paths, because the paths might have... Marauders hanging about on them. Um, oh, there's a there's a camp over there. I might come back and investigate that at some point. Can't see anything. No, okay, I can't see anything that's going on there. Whoop! Hello. There we are. That's better. Yeah, still uh, nothing aggressive as far as I can tell. Okay, okay. Pretty light effect. When I loaded this up, it did actually say stick it straight into ultra graphics. I was like, okay, I will. Uh. Ah, a graveyard. Um, I'm assuming this is where all the uh, all the property goes. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people have died here. Or yeah, well, there's a there's a lot of people who have died here, friends. Um, don't mind me. I'm, I just came from over the Whoa, hill. Hey. Where did you come from? Uh, the the hill. Hi. You alright? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Oh, I didn't know. Um, uh, my pod crashing hills back there. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium? Possibly. It's safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Okay. Um. Uh, is that why you've got a pair of armed guards? Yeah. I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse-chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. Fair enough. Um, so you're telling me that there's uh, there's cannibals out here, yeah? Oh, worse, unemployed cannibals. Oh. You ever seen a marauder hold down a job? No. Or put a stake into society? No. Um. Fair enough. Um, I never got a name. My name's Tina. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Fair Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Fair enough. Um, place of twenty pieces. Junior's. Well, that was mean. 
Um, do you know anything about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. Okay. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Okay. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Um... <laughs> You're asking the wrong person, I'm not interested. Uh, well, it depends on the work. Are you Are you offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Uh huh. Um. Okay, so you want me to collect what's owed you? Um. Alright, I mean. This is all just giant company stuff, so, uh. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, yeah, I can I can help with that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Okay, um, why is he a special case, though? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. All right, okay. Uh, where can I find him? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Um. Right, I'll be back when I've got him for you. Good day. Edgewater. Employment community. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a grave here. Somebody door. So this is the cemetery. Okay. All right. Okay. Nothing to concern myself about here. Whoop. There we go. This is uh. Yeah, that doesn't look that doesn't look good to me. Still, let's go. Alright then, um... We've got guard, guarding a pile of scrap. This all just looks like housing, and these are, uh, fake windows. As we saw outside, we were literally falling off the wall. Uh, there's a couple of people just... Heard something outside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. Yep. Yep, nothing out there. Um, cannery, uh, cantina, space of choice cantina. This sounds like where I want to go. Uh, is there a? There we are. Um, I could do with a drink. Uh, excuse me, are you the uh, are you the proprietor, Amelia Kim? You are. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us. Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure yeah, there is. We can have another zero G. Hello. I don't know you. No, I'm from out of town. Um. I'm Tina. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Okay. Um. <laughs> what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. 
Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Um, what do you have available, please? Coming right up. Merchant school is equal to the value of your best dialogue school and it's used to negotiate price when buying and selling from vendors. Right, have you got water? Dehydrated water tablets. Water without the hydrogen or oxygen. Uh, um, plain and pure water. 99% water. Okay. Um, zero G brew. How much? Um, so I've got 35, and that would be 39. Okay. Um, can I? Um, can I hear? Can I just sell you some of this stuff um, to make up for it? Um, yeah. If you can have, uh, if you don't mind taking um, taking this off my hands. Thank you. Um, and I'll take a water, please. Uh, I'll, I'll just have the one. Thank you. 2% discount. That's nice. Um, and uh, and yeah, that, that'll do. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Now, um, can I drink that water now? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, add to junk. Oh, just F use. Okay. Hey. Hey. Thank you very much. Um. Now you said you got a deserter problem earlier. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Oh, okay. You tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Um. I'm uh, I'm looking for Reed. Do you know where he is? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson? Try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Fair enough. Um. You say like that as a good thing. Um. Yeah, you say it like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, well, thank you for your time. Uh, not the rest of these people in here are who I'm after. Cannery worker, resident. Cannery worker. There's Winslow. Now, Winslow... Journal is one of the people I need to speak to on here, I think. Was he? Uh, Ludwig Phyllis Abernathy Conrad. No, okay. Right. So I don't need to speak to Winslow. Worker, 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 worker. Right. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the water. General store. Let's see if I can sell some of my gear. Emerald Road from Okay. Uh, hello. Julius Morrow. Oh, look. I can steal those. I'm not going to. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. That's fine. Um... I need to fix a ship. Do you know where I might be able to find some parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see what you've got then. Music to my ears. Because I've got some stuff that I don't need. Uh, we've got an impact hammer. One-handed hammer. Oh, no, that's his stuff. Oh, whoops, sorry. Sell. There we are. Um... So this is stuff I've not got equipped. Fair enough. Let's, uh... 6.4. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, don't need the second 
gun. Sell that second gun. Maybe a mining gear, piece of a mining helmet. Okay. Thermal region. Wow, I get nothing for this kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. That's uh, 86%. That's at 95. Okay, no, nope, that's cool. Um, Thank you for your time, sir. I'll, uh, I'll head towards the big building. Um, oh, there's the salty. Now, where did it say? Uh, Conrad runs a barbershop. Ludwig is at the uh, space pad. Phyllis is in the cannery. Um, and Abernathy is probably at his home. Okay. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to cause debt. This looks like a yeah. That's the church. Royal Vale, Saltuna. Is this the cannery? Nope. That's locked up. Okay. It's a guard. All right. this yet yeah, that's locked up as well fair enough then i'm sorry i'll just be a minute you had a minute next one comes out of your pay he's off the threats friend i'm going boss's orders we all got quotas to make fair enough okay um Right, so this is Edgewaters, is it? How can I tell what door's gonna open and what's not? I'm guessing that's a blocked. That looks like a blocked. You are just a. You are Esther, Esther Blaine, okay. Don't know you, Esther Blaine. This looks like a house. It is. Ah, Martin Abernathy! Uh, Martin Abernathy, I need to speak to you, sir. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken, <laughs> that's old Abernathy. Okay, um, you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Yes, I am. Um, so you're Martin Abernathy then, yes? What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. Um, I'm not looking for trouble. I'm just here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Uh, yeah, yes, he told me everything. How long do you think you can keep a secret like that for, hey? Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Well, um... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. Yeah, I'm being polite, mate. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Oh, yeah. Okay, what would you need help with? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. Mm -hmm. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Okay, um... 
All right, I'll see what I can do. Oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Uh, anything I should know about the community center before I go? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Uh, okay, all right. I'll uh, I'll leave you be then. Hmm, interesting. Community center, eh? Uh, sleep deprivation. You're tired. Okay. Temperament, intelligence, strength, and then die. You got something to say to me, Esther? Huh? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Uh, well, he's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Okay, and what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. All right, well, let me worry about that. All right, here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Okay. Um. So, all right, so you need someone to smuggle you medicine under the table. Something like that. Look. I'm not in the habit of law-breaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll, uh, I'll consider it then. That's all I can ask of you. Right, um... Uh, right, so we need to look at the other places then we've got around here. It's a store, that's the cantina, that's Abernathy's house. Maintenance division. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. It's the the way it goes, I suppose. police over there, okay. So there's a barber shop around here somewhere. This is uh right, so that's all maintenance stuff. Okay. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauders got in. Just between us? Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of the salt tuna. You moron. Interesting. So there's a plague going around. And it appears to be... Well, like all plagues are really contagious. Um, which I should not be surprised about. There's mention of it twice now. Of, uh, of plague issues. Anything kicking around back here? No, no, okay. Guess they have kind of engines or something. That's the cannery. That's where I want to go to the main job. Now there's a spaceport and a barber shop. But I think I've wandered around if we're main here. Do I have a map? I do. Emerald Vale General Store, Space of Choice Cantina. Uh, I'm guessing those are locked. Maybe go that way. I can go either of those two ways. Mm -hmm. Right, we're just heading to the cantina anyway. Or the cannery or whatever. Door. Uh, Alright, that's a terminal. I'm gonna steal some stuff from them. No, no. The 
grease monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Hmm. That sounds serious. Um, Seems we've got a guest. Yes, indeed. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. That's fine, that's fine. Um, I wasn't planning on uh, on being here myself. Um, I'll, uh, I'll wait until you finished your conversation, that's fine. Yeah. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? Okay. Um, so, um, I was told that I need to come and speak to you. I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. That is correct. I don't work for for uh, I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Um yes, my um my ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. Okay. I can't let you have our power regulator. Okay. But I happen to know of another one. Mm -hmm. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay, go ahead then, please. Let's, um, yeah, let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Mm -hmm. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Uh, okay, so... Tell me about this geothermal plant, then. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole veil once upon a time. Most of the veil is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. Okay, and uh, you said that there were, uh, it was mostly abandoned. I'm assuming marauders? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Yeah, I'm guessing marauders. Um, <laughs> marauders aren't people. Um, so I'm guessing you mean marauders, yeah. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. I see. Okay. Um, all right. Tell me what I need to do then. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Okay, I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb. But I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. 
You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Um, sure, yeah, I could use the company. Okay. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. That's fine. We better get going then. Uh, companions. Any companion, characters join your adventures, help in a variety of ways. They provide combat support, skills, enhancement, increase carrying capacity. You can unlock special companions or combat abilities with your inspiration skill. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. We uh, will be going now. Come on in, come in the lift. Vardy can now join the party, okay. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Yeah, well, that's why I'm in the lift here. Oh, you teleported in, okay. No Johnny music on the way down? Aww. I like the Johnny music. Cool. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Okay, sure, yeah. Can we talk? Sorry, I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Okay. Um... If this is all about deserters, what's the, what's the other side of this issue then? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. Um, and did you know this Adelaide? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Okay. Um... Right, okay. So, well, you know, I can't blame anyone for wanting to leave. Cause it does seem a bit kind of, you know, corporate heavy-handed and you pay for everything you pay to be alive. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but... Every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. Mm -hmm. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay, alright, well, uh... Let's, uh... Let's go and have a talk to him, then. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody... It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. All right, let's uh, see what we can do then. Come along. I want to close the door after us? Thank you. Uh, right now, church was over this way, I think. Uh. I know it's not exactly a big place to get lost in, but, you know. Uh, where was... Ah, must have been over here. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Yeah, I know. It's, it's funny how you keep on losing fingers in the cannery, isn't it? Um, was it here? No, this is where we literally just come from. Must be back this way. Not that way. There we go. This is where we went to head to, so there must be a vicar in here somewhere. So I hope so. Really? Too clean in here? Oh, Alright, if you say so. Uh, you're all residents there. Ah, here you are. Vicar Max, are you still with me? Yes, you are. Excuse me, sir. Um, 
can't sit in your chair. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Uh, I already know the quickest way out of town. Um, but uh, Pavati wanted to talk to you about what Reed has asked me to do. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Oh, just shut off, uh... Fix the duo. Cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Um, Yeah. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Uh, okay, so what do you think of Adelaide's group? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Mm, not really. Um, okay, well, depends on how well Leader could provide beyond the wall. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. Fair enough. Um, so what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the full. Okay. Um, send the power to Edgewater. Alright, um... Just talk everyone and come together. Okay. Fair enough, I can do that. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. Fair enough. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Okay, okay. Um, and is that because of marauders? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay, why... Um, fair enough. All right, well, well, tell me a little bit more then. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. Mm -hmm. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll go look for it, yeah. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay, um... I'm gonna have to zip back to uh, to my ship, I think, and take a rest because I'm starting to get a little tired up there on that bar, and you know I could need need another drink soon as well, which I don't really have a, an awful lot of money for. Um, and it's probably been about an hour, I'd imagine. So um, I'll leave this episode here. I know it's not an awful lot has happened, but blimey, it's um it's quite good at um. A building up the story, isn't it? Give me a nice slow not gonna kind of just chuck you into action straight away. There you go, here's action. Um Yeah, we'll see how this develops. So um until the uh, until the next episode then, thank you everybody for watching. And um yeah, have a great night.